Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious sticky gingerbread. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and this is our second episode of baking with T-Roy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious sticky gingerbread but before we do let's go ahead and run through the ingredients and the equipment you're going to need to make this delicious cake. Starting on the right hand side we have 200 grams of golden syrup, we have 200 grams of black treacle, we have 30 millilitres of water, we have a tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda. We have 250 milliliters of milk. We have 150 grams of unsalted butter. We have 125 grams of dark muscovado sugar. We have two tablespoons of ground ginger, but you can adjust this if you want it more gingery or less gingery. We have 300 grams of plain flour and two large free-range eggs. As for the equipment you'll need, we have a large mixing bowl, we have a large boiling pot, we have a hand whisk, a fork, a spatula, and an oven-proof dish approximately 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 5 centimeters or you can half this like I've done and bake it in two. So we're going to go ahead and add in the butter, or add in the golden syrup. We'll put the black treacle in there. Next we'll add in the sugar. And finally, we'll go ahead and tip the ginger in here and move everything across to the hob. So apply a low heat to the pan. You want to melt this very gently and slowly. If you have the temperature too high, you'll just end up burning the sugar and the cake won't taste very nice. When the butter has melted, you can go ahead and start whisking it. You want to make sure that all of the butter lumps out of it so you've got a nice smooth sauce. Next we're going to make a sort of egg wash which we're going to be adding to the sugar and butter mixture. So first go ahead and crack your eggs into your 250 ml of milk. And then just go ahead and whisk this up with a fork. Just make sure that all of the egg is mixed in with the milk. It should go a nice yellow color. And then you can go ahead and add this to the sugar mixture and give it a stir with the whisk. Next we're going to add the bicarbonate of soda to the 30 milliliters of water and give it a stir up so it's all dissolved. Next we can go ahead and add this to our mixture. It will go a little bit foamy, but this is completely normal. Just whisk it in. That's what's going to give our cake a few air bubbles and make it nice and light. So now that we have made the ginger mixture, we're going to add that to the flour in a minute to make our final batter. But I just wanted to mention to you guys, if you want to make this more or less ginger flavoured, you can take out a little bit of the ginger or add a little bit more. I've added a little bit more than the original recipe because I like it nice and gingery. If you're not that keen on the strong flavours, then you can reduce it a little bit and you can just adjust accordingly. So we're going to pour the flour into the mixing bowl. And then with your hand, you just want to make a small little pool in the middle. 
Then go ahead and pour in your liquid batter and mix that together with the flour. Now you might need a bigger mixing bowl than the one I had here. It was almost full to the top, but as you mix it in with the flour, the level should go down a little bit. Okay, so now that we've made the liquid batter, we're ready to put it into our baking trays. Now you can put it into one large baking tray, which is the same volume, or I'm going to put it into smaller sort of bread baking trays because I think it cooks a little bit better and it's easier to divide it up. Then pop your baking trays or baking tray in the oven at fan oven 180 for about 30 minutes. Once the cakes are done cooking, you can take them out of the oven and put them on a cooling rack leave them to cool for about one hour here we go guys once you've let it cool you can go ahead and take them out of the baking tray slice it up and put it in your face thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video